Hey, what is up, Sag? Thank you so, so much for joining this reading, Sagittarius. I hope wherever you are in the world, you are prosperous and you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. So, Sagittarius, today we're going to find out what is being hidden from you, okay? What do you not see, okay? Or who? Hmm. We're going to start with the soul's journey, you guys, and then we're going to get into the tarot. You have peace. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. So Sagittarius, I feel like what you do not see is that you can let something go. You can. You have the option, Sag, to let some shit go. Okay. Let's get one more. You got health. It says, I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. So you could be worried about your health or you could be trying to do things that is going to increase your health, give you better health. This could be having to do with your diet, your physical body. This could even have to do with you taking better care of how you look, maybe enhancing your look even, Sagittarius. Okay. So Sagittarius, what you don't see here is that you have the option to choose peace over bullshit, okay? You have the option to choose peace. You have the option to let something go that does not serve you. Let something go that has been stressing you out or something that you've been worrying about. You have the option to choose a different mindset. And this could be really, really good for your health. I feel like what's being hidden from you, Sagittarius, is that you don't necessarily see that letting something go, choosing peace is going to benefit you in a healthy way. Some of you may see this, but a lot of you may not realize that whatever this thing is, whatever this BS is, whatever is causing causing disruption in your peace, you have a choice to let that go and create a, a healthy environment for you, a healthier mind, okay? A healthier self-image. Mm, that's very powerful, Sage. All right, let's get into the tarot, you guys. Ooh, you got the three of cups. So, uh, Sagittarius, what's being hidden from you is playfulness, bliss, happiness, collaboration, joy, a celebration, okay? You could be uh, joining a group, okay, for an outing. What happens after this? Ooh, the queen of wands. Creativity, passion. Sagittarius, what you don't see, if you're having a hard time with anything in your life, um, Sagittarius, what you don't see is that something is about to change. You're going to feel better, okay? Whatever this di disruption is, it's not going to last forever. It may seem as though something is going to last forever. It may seem as though you will never get this peace, okay? You'll never be put in a healthy, healthy situation. Sagittarius, this is your chance to be more positive about the things in your life, okay? About yourself, about the people in your life. Okay, your journey. It's time for you to be more positive and, and optimistic. What you don't see, Sagittarius, is if you choose peace, if you choose to look at the brighter side of things and not at all the things that are going wrong, you will be able to see the joy. You will be able to see the opportunities that you have, Sagittarius. What happens after the Queen of Wands? Ooh, we got the King of Feathers, which is the King of Swords. So I see you could want to go towards someone or someone would could want to come towards you and communicate something. You may not see this, Sagittarius. Someone wants to communicate something to you. This has a lot to do with justice and getting clarity on a situation. Hmm. We're going to clarify these as well, you guys. Beautiful. You could be connected to a Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but it can be any sign. What happens after the King of Swords? The Six of Crystals. Yeah. I feel like someone wants to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with you. Hmm. Someone wants to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with you about something that took place. What happens after the Six of Crystals for Sag? The Wheel of Fortune. 
and the Ten of Swords. Hmm. Why is the Three of Shells here? Why is the Three of Shells here? You have the Hierophant. So you could be getting together um, with a group of people that you really trust, really admire. You could learn some valuable information whenever you get into this group, okay? Whenever you go to this gathering or event, you're going to be surrounded by people, okay? Sagittarius, you're going to be surrounded by people. You could be at a restaurant. You could be at a party. You could be anywhere at root that you are surrounded by others. You're surrounded by a large group of people, not just one other person. It's a group of people. And you're going to learn some type of information while you're here. Why is the Queen of Wands here? This is about your passion. I see you going towards something or someone coming towards you. You have the Ace of Cups. I see that there is a new beginning, possibly in love. There's a new beginning in you being fulfilled, possibly in your passions and your creativity and the things that you want to go after, Sagittarius. Hmm. You can meet someone um, as you're going after this passion. This person is, is showing up as very passionate and very logical. Why is the King of Swords here? What's happening with the King of Swords? Ooh, look at that. The Four of Wands. Damn, Sagittarius. You could definitely be meeting somebody um, in love. You could be meeting someone in love or in friendship. You're definitely coming into union with someone new, possibly. You don't see this, though. This is this is happening when you least expect it because Sagittarius, what's happening is you're going after something that you want for yourself. And along the way, you're meeting someone who you are very, very compatible with. Tell me more about the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? What happens after this? The four of wands, the queen of cups. Wow. So like whatever this is, Sagittarius, you do not feel as though this is possible. Okay. You could have ended a relationship in the past and you may not have even been looking for anyone. You could be single, uh, Sagittarius, but it looks like you're going to run into someone who you really vibe with. This could be in a friendship. This could be in a, in a romance relate in a romantic relationship, but you're going to be fulfilled by this because there's some type of gratitude being shown. Someone is very thankful to have you in their life with the queen of cups and the six of pentacles. Someone is very grateful to have you in their life. What happens after the queen of cups with the wheel? Look at that. You got the emperor. Someone is very uh, grateful to have you in their life. It looks like this person did not expect to um, to meet you. This person could tell you that, you know, it was almost like you fell out of heaven, Sagittarius. It's almost like you fell out of the sky, right? In, 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 in their view, uh, Sagittarius, this is uh, Aries energy. So something could happen very quickly with you and someone, this change, okay? Why is the Ten of Swords here? What happens after this with the Emperor? Ooh, the Tower. So, I feel like Sagittarius, whenever you meet this person, Sagittarius, it's going to feel as though you're going to wonder why you spent so much time. You and this person is going to wonder why, because there's some type of transformation here. This is Scorpio energy. You're going to wonder why you took so much time, wasted a lot of time on other people and situations, okay? It's like, damn, I should have went after this thing sooner. But the thing about it is, Sagittarius, you had to go through whatever you went through. You and this person had to go through go through whatever you went through before you, you meet each other in order to be grateful when you see each other, okay? When you do meet each other, when you do invest into into whatever this is, whatever partnership, whatever relationship, friendship this is, you're going to be very grateful that you have met one another at this time because if you would have met each other at the time back in the day or whenever before you went off and, and pursued this thing that you're pursuing, Sagittarius, then you and this person may not have been in a, a mature energy, in a more mature energy to even accept this type of connection. Let's get some yin yang after this, you guys. Let's get some yin yang on this. What is the six 
situation dealing with for Sage? What don't they see? Nostalgia memories. Yeah. I feel like you and this person could dis discuss the past, okay? But I feel like the past isn't going to be that important when you meet this person because it's like you and this person is going to be more evolved. You're going to be in a new phase of your life. Yes, you're going to have memories of different people, different experiences on both ends. But what's most important is going to be moving away from this, I feel. Moving away from uh, the past because I'm feeling like whatever memories that that were in the past, they may not have been the best memory, Sagittarius. Let's get one more. What is the situation concerning for Sag? What is hitting? What don't they see? Rejection, loss, fragmented. I do feel like whatever memories you had, Sagittarius, you want to leave those behind. You don't want to bring in all of this energy, Sagittarius, that you had in the past with someone else into this new connection. There's some type of new connection, a new beginning in your emotions, in your passions, and also possibly in a connection with someone new. Wow. It's like you want a, a clean slate in your emotions. It's like you don't want to you don't want to bring in all of that baggage of feeling rejected, feeling lost, feeling fragmented into this beautiful new connect this beautiful new connection. Okay, and I do feel like this is where this Ten of Swords and Tower is coming in at this transformation because this is something new. This is something very new, very powerful, very, very beautiful that you're going to want to protect okay you're going to want to protect it and it's not that the things in the past don't matter it's just that those things that those things got got you to where you are they don't make you they don't make you you don't have to hold on to things so hard and so long to where you keep bringing things into new connections this is um what i see that is probably hidden from you sagittarius is that you don't have to bring that negative ass shit into a new connection okay your memories are your memories okay you don't have to make those memories memories you're now you don't have to make being rejected you're now okay if this person isn't rejecting you if this person isn't doing anything harmful to you make sure you keep those boundaries and boundaries up and you keep keep a lock on on that vault of those memories especially those painful memories okay don't bring that into this new connection with this new person okay i feel like this is something that should be discussed or you and this person may be discussed and you may be saying okay i want to leave the past behind me um i'm focused on peace and a better health so it's like you and this person could be discussing you know what's in the past is in the past you may do a little bit of talking but you're not trying to carry that shit on over okay you're not trying to bring it on over into this because this is really good and you don't want to you don't want to add any toxic things to something that is not toxic okay if if it's not showing up as toxic it's no need to make something toxic is what i'm getting here Oh, that is really, really mature, Sagittarius. And I'm happy for you because this is going to create a new beginning in how you feel. It's going to create more uh, a more balanced self-esteem within yourself because you're not bringing old shit into new shit, okay? Like, no. It's like, it's like Sagittarius, it's like if you get a brand new house say if you got this big ass mansion Sagittarius and so you you move all the furniture that you had back in two in year 2000 into this brand new big ass mansion yes you gonna have furniture but it's like all of that negative ass energy and memories that are in that furniture every time you look at that couch that sofa you're gonna be thinking about this and you know you should have threw that shit out Sagittarius okay it's like you you you're upgrading all all away all the way around the board okay this is a new person with a new vibe that you don't see so it's no need you bringing old ass furniture into this new vibe it's it's no point in that because all it's going to do is create an atmosphere where you and this person will have a higher chance of self-sabotaging a connection that doesn't have to go that way it doesn't even have to be that way wow very very beautiful we're gonna pull a couple of white cards for this let's see what is hidden from you regarding this situation twinkle twinkle little star oh so this is like a wish fulfillment sagittarius you are someone's wish fulfillment this is like a wish fulfillment so you're you're meeting someone when you least expect it. You know how you know how you wish for something when you're little. 
when you're little or when you're younger or years before. And it's like, damn, I guess that's not going to come true. Or it's like you could keep the faith that it'll one day come true, but it's going to happen when you least expect it. Whoever this is or whatever union this is, it's a wish fulfillment. It's something that you wanted. It's something that your soul needs, okay? It's something that is beautiful, something that is nourishing to your spirit, to your soul. So this is like a wish fulfillment, not only for you, but also for the other person. Wow. And I feel like someone is not going to realize that this is a wish fulfillment until they get it. Like, wow, I didn't know how much I needed you. I do see gratitude here with the queen of cups, uh, the king of swords with the four of wands. It's like someone is saying, I didn't know that you would be such a, a beautiful thing added to my life. I didn't know that I needed your energy in my life to 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 help me, to 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 show me something. Um, Sagittarius, this is really, really nice. Ooh, this is really, really nice. Let's get one more. I swear. Ooh. Somebody is very, very serious, Sag. Someone is very, very serious about this. Like, I swear. I swear. We're going to find out where this is going. Okay, you guys. Okay, why is Twinkle Twinkle Little Star here for Sag? Why is Twinkle Twinkle Little Star here for Sag? You got the King of Cups. So, and I see um, it came out in reverse. It popped out in reverse, Sagittarius. So I feel like some of you or this person or you and this person, you too could have given up hope on some type of uh, love, harmony, coming together with somebody. You could have given up because of the past, because of this, the memories, the rejection, the loss, feeling fragmented from past relationships, past friendships, family relationships, connections, trauma, a, a buttload of bullshit. You know what I'm saying? You could have just given up on this being fulfilled on your emotions being fulfilled in a connection wow a lot of you could could really like to shower your person with gifts with affection with love with words of affirmations just just with a lot of positive positivity and uplifting things and you may not have you may not have had the opportunity to do that in the past and it's like man i wish i could have a relationship like that or a connection like that with someone i wish i could meet someone who was more on my more on my level when it comes to my emotions okay when it comes to my passion and how i communicate here with the king of swords why is i swear here someone is serious they swear they're dead serious you have the four of acorns in reverse so this is about comfort this is about community hmm this is the four of ones as well but it's in reverse so i feel like a lot of you are going to feel like something is just too damn good to be true because you got the four ones here upright and you have the four ones here in reverse where well, I swear. So it's like a lot of you are going to still have these trust issues. And I feel like Sagittarius, it's normal to have that type of reaction to a situation when you've been hurt, when you've been let down. It's normal to feel guarded, to feel like you need to protect yourself as you should. But just know every person is not the same. Everyone is not an asshole. Everyone can be. Anyone can be. But everyone is not going to be the same as your past. Everyone is not going to be the same as those things you remember in your past, okay? So it's important, Sagittarius, for you to use your discernment, use your common sense, okay? Don't add anything to the pot that don't go in the stew, okay? Don't add nothing that don't go in there. Don't don't add any of that trauma that doesn't go in there okay it's okay to to accept that that's what you went through but this is something new this is something new Sagittarius you have to be open-minded you have to understand that everyone isn't isn't like everyone else are you like everyone else Sagittarius are you like everyone else no you're not and so other people give give people the chance to show you who they are give this person the chance to show you who they are and if this person is not who they say they are then you call it bullshit okay then you put an end to it Sagittarius don't just go off the rip and say you ain't shit you know what you're saying don't mean anything you're not telling the truth don't don't reject yourself for someone else don't reject yourself 
because you feel rejected because of the past. Don't reject yourself from a situation that you are wanted in, that you are desired. Don't do that. Don't do that. Give this person the opportunity to show you who the hell they are. Give them the opportunity. Okay, why is the king of shells here? The king of cups here in reverse with twinkle, twinkle, little star. This is a wish fulfillment. Wow. Somebody been waiting for this. Oh, look at that. You got the Ten of Pentacles and Temperance sliding on through. Somebody been waiting for this. I'm getting, you could you could have been waiting for this, but when you see it, it's like, huh. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This can't be real. This can't be, this can't be the person that I've been manifesting. This can't be the person that I wished upon to start when I was 22, okay, or however old, okay? This, this cannot be the person with the Ten of Pentacles and Temperance, okay? Woo! very well could be Sagittarius keep an open mind give this person a chance to, to show you who they are give them a chance to show you who they are then you give the other people a chance give them a chance to show you who they are don't just cut don't just cut everybody out because of one fool okay don't cut everybody out because of one fool because you never know what's right around the corner as you go towards this passion as you go towards whatever goals you're after you're going to meet someone Sagittarius and you don't see this coming because you lost hope. You and this person. I feel like you and this person could feel as though, wow, um, I wasn't expecting this, especially not now. You know what I'm saying? Especially not now. Why is the four of ones in reverse with I swear? Hmm. Look at that. You got the queen of wands. That's your energy, Sagittarius. Somebody swear to you. Somebody swear to you that whatever you, you think is not, is not true. Whatever you think is not, is not true. Something can look, something can look as if it's too good to be true. Something can look as if, okay, this, this person can't be trusted, but it has a lot to do with your past, with your memories, okay? With memories, with the past situation, with what you're trying to leave behind, okay? Don't create something that's not there that you do not want. Don't create a toxic environment just because you think, just because you think think that something is going to be how it used to be like i said give this person a chance to show you who they are and then if they do something different if they show you somebody different than who they say they are who who they they have told you and swore to you who they are who what they are then you call it bullshit, Sagittarius. Go all out with this shit. You on some bullshit. Call them out, Sagittarius, then. But don't do that. Don't just call somebody out just because you have memories of some bullshit, okay? Don't do that to yourself. Don't do that to yourself, Sag. All right? Let's go ahead and get the overall, you guys. What is hidden from Sag? Ooh, look at that. You got the Knight of Cups. Look at that. Somebody is waiting with flowers, waiting with a gift for you. Like I said, the this is something that you could have given up on. The night, any any night, they could take a while, okay? They could take a while. This shit could seem like it ain't even, even happening. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't nothing even happening. But a lot of times, things are working out in our favor uh, without us even knowing it. And then you have the five of swords. Like I said, you could have got irritated waiting on this. Like, you could have said, well, shit, forget it. Forget it. Forget it. I'm I'm cool on that. But it's like as you as you're as you're doing this, Sagittarius, as you're getting frustrated with waiting for something, it's like you choose to let something go. I feel like you you chose to let this worry go, and I feel like this is why it's happening when you least expect it because you you let something go. You you change your focus. You put your focus on something else that was more important. Okay. You have the six of swords. Yeah, you moved away from this. Wow. Wow. Yeah, you made the decision to let this go of, you know, wanting, wanting this. I'm getting that you could have just been in a, in a messed up, toxic uh, relationship or something before this, even years before, before you meet this person. And it's like, well, since this isn't working out, yes, I want love and all of that, but you know, there's other things to focus on. And instead of letting, letting this get to me, because it's like, you can choose peace. It's like you chose peace. I see you choosing peace. Yeah. What you don't see Sagittarius is that you have the choice to choose peace and let something go. Mm. When you do that, something is coming right toward, right towards you. Why is the Knight of Cups here to the Five of Swords? Yeah. Six of Cups. You let the past go. Something from the past. You're like, I can't keep holding on 
I can't I can't keep holding on to this. So the reason why something was delayed, Sagittarius, what you don't see is that you needed to let go of something in the past. There's something in the past you need to let go of. And this is a reminder that when you do meet someone new, okay, if this person isn't coming off as toxic, there's no need to, to bring your toxic baggage into that and vice versa. It's no need in this person bringing that, that into the connection, okay? What if you got into a connection with someone, Sagittarius, and you had the best intentions with this person and this person told you that you were rejecting them, that you didn't... You you didn't like them that much that the shit that you saying that you that you were saying to them wasn't accurate that you wasn't about the truth that would make you feel bad Sagittarius it would make you feel as though wow this person doesn't accept me give this person a chance to show you who they are okay why is the five of swords here to the six of swords you have the ten of swords again you have the ten of swords here too I see like as you let this thing go from the past Sagittarius, you're still in heavy thought about having it. And I feel like what has happened is what has happened. You have let go of ha just having this, having this love right now or like when you want it and you are just allowing the universe to send you someone when it's the perfect time. Hmm, a lot of you could have been alone for a while, for months, for years, before you meet this person. Why is the Six of Cups here to the Ten of Swords? What's hidden from Sag? Ooh, Page of Wands. I feel like you freed yourself from being impatient. You chose patience. You chose peace. You chose your health. So you're in this vibe where, okay, if love comes, it comes. If it doesn't come right now, then it's not the right time. But Sagittarius, what you don't see is that it's going to come when you least expect it, when you're off doing your creative thing, when you're off doing something that you're passionate about, when you're out working. Okay, Sagittarius, you're going to run into someone, Sagittarius, that you're going to be very, very attracted to. They're going to be very, very attracted to you. And you both are going to feel as though you came into each other's life when you least expect it because you both wanted this. You both wanted this ten of pentacles this is family okay this is comfort this is stability temperance this is balance wow the king of cups emotional fulfillment you and this person could have given up on love you you and this person could have given up on waiting for love or waiting for someone to show you love and you chose you both chose to go on a new path with the king of swords and the queen of wands wow this is so beautiful sagittarius i wish you the best of luck this is the Sagittarian Goddess, and I will see y'all in the next reading.